Hello viewers, and in this class we are going to look at um, uh, resolving quadratic equation using uh, factorization uh, method. Okay, before us we have a question here, 3x squared plus 10x minus 8 equals 0. Now given a quadratic equation and uh, we are asked to factorize, there are some steps that we need to follow. For this time we have, um, so we have a x squared plus bx plus c equals to zero and we're asked to do our factorization method the first thing to do is to see that you obtain the product of uh, the term containing a square uh, ax squared times the constant term which is this term do for their product okay do for the product of this is ac x squared that's the first thing you do and the next thing is for you to look for all the factors of this term. Then having done that, you try and uh, you know manipulate uh, in such a way that uh, the one of the factors, you know, if you know it is summed together, I uh, should be able to give you uh, the middle term. Should be, be able to give you what uh, b x. Whether if you add it, if you sum it, or the difference between the or the, the, the one of the factors uh two of the factors here uh, that will make up uh, uh the middle term if they are added or their differences okay that's what we're going to do here the first thing is that we're going to use three s square to multiply the constant cell which is eight and if we do that um uh, we're going to have um uh eight uh, 3x squared times minus 8 that will give us minus 24x squared so now let's look for all the factors of uh, minus 24x squared okay so one of the factors will be x minus s times uh, 24x that will give us minus 24x squared and if we add this to our, our term if we add it or subtract it, it's not going to give us 10x okay so let's try to uh minus 2x uh 2 times 4 will give us 24 that's where minus 2x times uh uh 12x uh that will give us a uh, minus uh 24x square okay let's add this let's do the sum minus 2x plus uh 12s whether if it will give us a uh, 10x yes exactly it give us a 10x okay i think this is the most appropriate um, factor to use so we will replace the middle term here in place of 10x we replace this with minus 2s plus uh, 12x so there are other factors too so let's try 3 minus 3x times um, 8x that will give us a minus um, minus 24x if we do this minus 3s plus uh 8x is going to give us 5s it's not going to work even this is minus 3s minus 8x it's not going to give us uh, the result so the best thing i uh, have obtained our answer here okay what we need to do we replace this 10 in place of 10 with what minus 2x uh plus uh, uh 12x so here we have a 3s squared uh, minus 2x plus uh, 12x minus 8 is equal to what? 0. Okay, here what we need to do after this, uh, we group them in terms of 2, 2. Um, so having done that, what we need to do, we're going to look at the common factor here. What is the common factor in each of these terms? We have a 3x squared and 2x. 3x squared and 2x. Something is common here, x and x. So we are going to factor at uh, x, 1x. So if we remove 1x from here, uh, here will become um, 3x, just 3x. x times 3s will give us 3x squared. And here, if we factor at 1x here, we have a left with a minus, um, minus 2. You close your bracket. Uh, we come to this uh, term here, 12 x minus 4 let's look at the common factor between 12 and 
if with an if with an it the common factor here is four four can divide this four divide this is three four divide this is two so here we put add four it's a common factor here and here we have a uh, three x uh, minus uh, two is equals to zero okay here you see this term they are they are they are the same so you pick them as one so here becomes s plus four uh, into uh, 3x minus uh, 2 is equal to 0. Okay, here the next step is that uh, either s plus uh, 4 is equal to 0 or 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. So here s plus 4 is equal to 0 or here this is plus 2 so as it crosses the sign of uh, equality here become the uh, positive. So here we have three s here is equal to is equal to two. So here x this is plus four as it crosses to this side become minus become minus four. Or uh, x here we divide both sides by three by three s here is equal to uh, two over three. This is the root of the equation. So in our factorization method, the first thing you do use the the same containing the highest power of the unknown to multiply the constant term then having done that all you need to do is to look through for all the factors of the the result of the term containing square and the constant term all the factors that are possible mm? then you look at the middle term here which is uh, the term containing b the, the coefficient of x then all the factors so obtained, and you look at one that you know you can either add or subtract to give you the middle term, and then uh, you continue the process. All right, okay. Uh, in our next video class, uh, we are going to look at uh, uh, more problems on quadratic equations, and this time uh, it's going to be on the word problem leading to quadratic uh, equation. Please, all you help me do is subscribe and uh, share to other platform. Have a nice time. See you T uh, next virtual class.